In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Many deceivers who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh have gone out into the world. Any such person is the deceiver and the antichrist. These verses serve as some of the basis behind a Christian doctrine that alleges Jesus Christ to be both fully God and fully man. For many believers, this paradox is simply accepted on faith, and it is assumed that since God can do anything, he can certainly be both God and man, in the fullest sense, at the same time. But for believers like Telemantros, A.V. Owens, and Canby85, who have asserted in video responses to me that God can only do what is logically possible, this poses a problem. Numbers 23.19 states that God is not a man that he should lie, nor is he a son of man that he should change his mind. To put it simply, God is not a human being, nor is he even like a human being in many ways. Conversely, human beings are not actually God, nor are they like God in many ways. Among virtually all Christians, it seems universally accepted that God and humans are two distinctly separate beings. Believing them to be the same has been considered a heresy in Christendom for centuries. To be human means you are not God. To be God means you are not human. What this means, then, is that Jesus being both fully God and fully man is a logical contradiction. The law of non-contradiction states that something cannot simultaneously be both A and non-A. This doctrine of Jesus' divinity and humanity violates this principle in two ways. Jesus is fully God and yet not fully God, because he is also fully human. Jesus is fully man and yet not fully man, because he is also fully God. In his recent video response to me, Canby85 claimed that the laws of logic are an extension of God's mind, which means he is unable to break them. But if you believe Jesus to be both fully God and fully man, it is clear that God's very own nature violates the laws of logic. Thus, the only solution is to either conclude that Jesus is not both fully God and fully man, or to conclude that God is actually capable of breaking the laws of logic.